A Panama City Beach family is picking up the pieces of their lives and starting over for a third time in the past five years. Their home on Dogwood Street burned down last night, but as News 13's Thomas Schultz tells us, they say it could have been even worse if not for a young hero. This is crazy. Beth Dyer and her family returned to their home on Dogwood Street for the first time Friday morning after the apartment burned down Thursday evening. Everything they own and cherish, gone. Oh my God, his cookie monster. Memories are all that are left. Melly took her first steps here, right down the hallway. She was born here. I survived COVID here. Dyer has two young children. Their toys are burnt to crisps, including ones made by their grandfather. No, I remember him saying, what do you buy? A baby for Christmas, and I showed him that and he made it. This isn't the first time the family has started over. Dyer says a shorted circuit sparked the blaze, ruining everything they worked so hard to build for a third time. We had already lost everything in Michael, and uh, then I had caught COVID, and it bumped us down from two income family to one, and now this. Despite losing everything, Dyer still has her family, and she knows there's only one reason why, her four-year-old son, Max. <laughs> Max's speech is delayed and he can't yet talk, but he was able to warn the family who are all hanging out in the bedroom of the fire growing in the living room. He came back, he of course was like sassy, sassy, and he's speech delayed. So nobody understood what he was saying, but he grabbed sassy by the hand and pulled her in there. So he knew something was wrong. Dyer says people often underestimate Max, but on Thursday, the bubbly four-year-old remembered what he had been taught on a field trip earlier this school year. They had gone on a field trip to the fire department just a few months back at preschool, and so he knew. Not only did Max save his family, he likely saved other people's lives in their homes in the duplex. It makes me proud that he's our hero. We still could have been in that apartment. As the Dyers try to rebuild their lives, they'll do so knowing they can count on each and every member of their family. In Panama City Beach, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you'd like to help the family rebuild, you can find out how to help them. Just go to our website, mypanhandle.com.